Good morning, everybody. I'm eating my breakfast while I drive. Banana and water. So banana and water for breakfast. And we're headed over to Savers for the perfect purses. How's everybody doing this morning? <laughs> my banana, yeah. <laughs> Is everybody enjoying this lovely, lovely December 3rd already? I swear it's going to be 2022 before my 2021. I don't even know what year it is anymore, you guys. So yeah, 2021 is coming and I'm ready to get this year over with. A lot of people have had a really, really wonky, nasty year this year. Oh, I see fire. Yep, we have a fire nearby. I don't see the fire, I see the smoke. So... We have extremely dry weather right now. Ooh, that's really close. We have extremely dry weather and the winds are up to 60 miles per hour now through, I think, uh, Saturday, I think they said it's gonna be. So we're back in fire mode again, which is horrible, horrible, horrible. But on a happy note, we're headed to Savers and we're gonna have some good fun there. So, you know, we gotta have fun somewhere. All right, you guys, we'll see you at Savers. Oops, look at my basket. Look at my basket full of treasures. I'll show you everything that I'm gonna be getting out of the car. This is Coach, a Coach backpack purse. Um, yeah, I found luck. See, what you have to do, I'll tell you another trick, you guys. Ooh, this is pretty. That's um, suede and leather. Who is this by? What you have to do when you get here, if you're filming, you want to search through all of the things before you uh, start filming because it takes extra time to film and talk and you want to get in, get what you need, film and get out, basically. There's no name on this. This is really pretty. What's in this little pocket here? Sounds like a little credit card pocket. Maybe the... Nope, no name on the zipper, no name on the back. Hmm, it's got a few marks on it though, so $9.99. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to get that one, but we'll keep looking. What's this one? So, J-Lo. Ooh, is that a genie? It is a genie, I think. Let's see. Or are they just kidding with me? Yeah, they're just kidding with me. It is a cold water creep. Looks just like a Dooney and Burke. It's genuine leather, though. <clears throat> That's cute. Maybe. <clears throat> See what I mean? How I missed stuff when I came in? You always gotta do a double, double take. Hold on, I'm gonna put this red one back. At first, I thought this was a Madewell, but this is a um, Universal Thread by Target. That's leather trim. Good idea. Yeah, but you want to come down there, honey? Okay. 
Oh, your shopping bag, are you doing that for a charity? I actually am a reseller. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you really, really look hard, they'll have some things that are marked really good. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of it, yeah, you're right. Right. Here's a Brighton for 30. There's a Brahmin for 35. This Dooney's 50. And Coach Wristlet. Let's see what's over on this little wall over here. Is this a good deal? Which one? Um, what is this? Oh, it's got the little Scotty dogs on it. So, it is Juicy Couture. Vintage Coach. Spade. Here's a coat. And how much is this one? I like that one. The old fashioned kind. My cart is full, you guys. Full, full, full. Okay, we'll go over on this side and look beauty, you guys. That is so cool. Raw leather on the inside. It's got a no pockets, but it's got um, a key lanyard. Who is it? <coughs> Who is this guy? Made in India. Another one I don't know. Who it is? I like it though. My car is going to be a haul for. Oh, what is this? Juicy Couture. It's like a. What the heck is this? I don't know, but it's cute. Oh my gosh, look at that you guys. <laughs> so cute. I don't even know what <laughs> like what is it like a little fuzzy monster guy? <laughs> Oops. So cute. Oh, go back. They're fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Not cold. K-E. Who's K-E? Feels like leather. I don't know who K-E is though. There's a little cosmetic bag up there. Here's a fossil. Travelon, great bag for travel, really, really great for travel. Here's a sack, and yeah, what is that one? Nothing, nothing, honey. What is this up here? Rosetti. Here's a purple coach um, checkbook cover. It's supposed to go to a wallet. Do people use checks anymore? Do you guys carry checks in your bags? In your purses? I don't. I don't carry checkbooks at all. <laughs> Victoria's Secret pink little belt bag. I think I got some cute stuff in here today. A show. 
of a good day to come. You guys, I literally just won the purse lottery. You ready for this haul? Here we go. Do, 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 do. Look at that. That's a whole lot of purses right there. Wow, man. These, <laughs> I can't understand people getting rid of all these bags. Well, more power to us, right? Where do we start? Let's just start with this one. This is just way too adorable. Um, the material is a like a blanket material. It's very, very boho. It has a braided shoulder strap with one buckle on the side. Um, a double, like when I say double zip, meaning the zipper has two zipper pulls. It's big, look at this. And it's by, I think it's a Sun and Sand or something like that, which is an expensive brand. It's gigantic. I'm gonna go kind of quicker on these, I think, because um, I have so many to show you today. Um, there is a one, one slip pocket, hard to see right now. One slip pocket inside. Can you guys see that? Probably not, but it's right there, okay? So this is, I'm gonna call this a blanket bag. I don't know, blanket bag, sun and sand. That's the name of it. So sun and sand purse. The colors are so cool. Let's show you up close the colors. For my boho girls. There you go, leather trim. Okay, I have this vintage Betsy Johnson chocolate brown leather. At first I thought it was a Lockhart. Do you guys know what Lockhart is? Look it up. This will remind you of Lockhart. Look at this adorableness. It's a very, um, very thick brown leather with the little studded lips. It's got the chain detail with metallic leather wrapped around. And look at the horseshoe zipper pull. It's all rhinestones. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Okay, so the zipper goes all the way around and then the bottom, look at the pebbled leather on that. Amazing. So this is a pocket. Um, this is the interior, adorable. Looks wonderful. Cheetah interior with the zipper and leather line slips. And then here is like the strap, the shoulder strap. All studded, leather, whip stitching. So cute, so, so cute. Okay, so that's a vintage Betsy Johnson. Oh, and it has a um, magnetic snap closure. And then yeah, I showed you the bottom, right? Okay, next I have this is a, um, RNY, which is Revel New York. Revel New York. <coughs> the inside needs cleaning, <coughs> but the bag itself is amazing. The leather on this is gorgeous. The outside looks beautiful. Really, really thick pebbled leather with raw leather trim, this chocolate brown trim. And the back looks like this. Look at the shoulder strap, it's so equestrian, I love it. And then like the super cool little uh, emblem. So that's the shoulder strap. And this is definitely a medium, like a larger medium, if that makes sense. So you flap open, it's got this great front pocket. But then, like I said, the inside will need a little bit of TLC. If it doesn't bother you, fine. But I have found a couple people here that have purchased my bags that look like this, and then they're all pissed off when they get it. So the inside does need to be, all you have to do on this is a little bit of OxyClean and water. If I have time, I'll do it myself, but I probably won't have time. But this is a very expensive bag. The outside looks amazing. Um, it's nice. It's nice and wide. It opens up nice and wide and it's just a really pretty Really really pretty pretty bag Okay Ooh. 
Maria I've got a lot to show. Um, I found another sack because I have a lot of sack lovers. A lot, a lot, a sack, a lot, a lot of B. Mikowski. Actually, anything leather. I'm, I'm noticing you guys really love the medium and large leather bags. I've definitely sold this one in the past. I think I've probably sold this one two or three times. So here's another one if anybody missed out. It's just a really adorable sack leather uh, tote style belted on the sides and really nice slip pocket on the back and then the top is zipper it has your basic sack lining with a zipper pocket and two slip pockets here's the pebbled leather up close really really pretty and here's the bottom the corners and then yeah, I showed you the back. And then it's silver hardware with a little sack emblem and a little stitching on the bottom and these nice leather straps, okay? Oh, let's see. I went ahead and I got this because it looks a lot like a uh, Dooney and Burke. It is a really good name and it is genuine leather still. So this is like the, um, I think they call this the, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember, but it's a cute little shoulder bag. And it is by um, Coldwater Creek. So it has a nice zipper pocket and two slip pockets on the inside. Like I said, it is genuine leather. It's got the cute little buckles and they are adjustable on each side. Nice zip top closure. Here's the shoulder strap and a chocolate brown. And then there's the bottom. Super great condition. Cold water creek. Um, I'm gonna save that one for later. Let's see. Later meaning in this video later. Not later, not later down the road. I found a vintage coach tote. There you go, you guys, that are my little vintage coach lovers. I have this one here. And the inside is so cute. It's got a little zipper pocket and a slip pocket. And if you guys can see, the Creed is right there. The Coach Creed. And then that's the inside. Cute little booger. So this is the brown vintage coach tote. And then I went ahead and I got this. I don't really know if I'm gonna sell it. I may use it as a project bag and keep it for myself, but I had to get this super cute. This is a coach little mini backpack. Isn't it adorable? I love, love, love the um, worn in used leather look. I just really, really love it. Um, it's got a zipper pocket. Oh, it's still got the little hang tag on it, too. I don't know if anybody would be interested in this because of, this, of the use it has, which it's so soft. It's so supple. It's got this really cute little lock, and you open it up, and then it's got the um, signature C interior. Here is the Creed. And that's a zipper pocket and then two little slip pockets I, I don't know I really like it I really really like this worn look a lot guys who else is with me on that so this is the coach little mini backpack really cute really really cute <laughs> Um, how about, let's see what else do I have in here that I want to show you. Oh my gosh, so many wallets. Oh my gosh, I got so many wallets. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, let's talk, let's talk about Jackpot, man. 
Hobo International, you guys. Black Hobo International. Love this one. It's got the double kiss lock. This side has a zipper pocket. This side has credit cards. This side has your ID window and another pocket. And then this cool zipper on the bottom. And that, that's just cool. I love this one and it's all, it's all worn in. All worn in, it says hobo right there. And I think there's a tag in it too, yeah. There's the tag right there. And then that's the zipper on the bottom. Okay, that wallet, I have more purses too, don't worry. Look at this little Adrian Vitadini. Look at this little wallet phone holder. All glitter. You put your phone in here. Let's see, my phone, oh shoot, duh, I'm recording with it. Is it would definitely fit a large, a large iPhone. Um, and you open it up. This looks to be brand new. Got all the credit card slots. So isn't that adorable? And then it's on a long crossbody strap. Okay, that's Adrian Vitadini. Wallet number one, Adrian Vitadini. I showed you my hobo wallet. I have this wallet. I'm not selling it here because I do not know the authenticity of it. Not for sale here. Okay. And this is what it looks like. I'm just showing you that I've, I'm hauling it. I'm not selling it. Okay. Not for sale here, y'all. This is leather trim. So, really brand new. Brand, brand new. I love the little charm hanging on it. Not for sale here, not for sale here, because I'm not allowed to do that. It says Finn, yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put it away. I just wanted to show you I picked this up. So there's another wallet. This, I just had to grab because this tells a major story. This is a vintage leather wallet. They do not make these like this anymore at all. It's just from the 70s probably 60s, late 60s, early 70s, with a little studded detail. And it's just so simple. It's got slip pockets, and two more slip pockets, and then this great little coin compartment. Man, this reminds me of my mom. This stuff reminds me of my mom so much. So isn't this awesome? It's just, is there a name on it? that say here I'm gonna show you because I can't I don't have my glasses but that's what it says right there and it's got like a little no that's not a logo just a grain in the leather this thing's so cute not cute I think so I think so too then I also got you guys another Brighton wallet in a really pretty light tan with silver studs it opens like this tons of card slots pockets and it's uh snaps it says brighton right here and it snaps and then also you've got the zipper pocket back here there's the brighton tag and the pretty little silver pull Okay, so Brighton Wallet. Then I got uh, this. I really, really, really love this purse. I don't know what the name is. And I swear, I would swear it's a Madewell, but it doesn't have a tag anywhere. But look at this, it's so nice. It's a totally like worn, raw leather purse. And the straps go all the way down 
and around on the bottom, there's a stain on the bottom, doesn't bother me. And look at the, the detail on the metallic strap. It's like a very, very light silvery with a hint of gold to it. Um, there's no pockets, it's raw leather interior. It's very well used and that's why I love it. But, but the tag doesn't, the tag is on here. It's got the lanyard, but it doesn't have a name. I don't know why, 100%, 100% leather, made in India. So no signs anywhere of who, who made it. They should be proud of this bag. They need to put their name somewhere in it because it's a gorgeous leather, right? Gorgeous leather tote. Okay, so it's brown and gold. Um, I paid up for this, but it's gorgeous, so I got it. This is a Brighton. And look at the pretty sparkle on the front. Look at the flowers. So the flowers are embroidered and beaded. Look up close. So pretty. And then it's got the tag on it, little heart. It's got a braided handle, shoulder strap. And look at the little embellishments on each side of the strap. It's got um, patent leather croco lining, the pocket. And then the inside is it's a zip top. Didn't even notice this. So you get a dust bag with it. Brighton dust bag. It's got a key lanyard. God, oh, the interior is pretty. Look at the silver interior. It's a silver satin floral. This bag's like brand new. It has, um, oh, this is cool. So it's got a zipper pocket on this side. And then this side also has a zipper pocket. So two inner zipper pockets and um, a slip pocket, two slip pockets and the key lanyard. Pretty. Okay. Put this back in there. This feels like a chamois, a white chamois. Okay, I also paid up for this one, but I do pretty good on this style coach. This is a leather coach crossbody in new condition. It has this pocket here in the front, silver hardware, zipper top pocket, zipper pocket and then here's the little tag made in India it's got the little hang tag on it and then it's a crossbody and there is no creed in this one somebody said there's a there's the creed on the inside pocket or something but I don't see them it's authentic but not on every bag so this is definitely a newer bag um, the only tag it has in there is this made in, uh, India. And it's definitely an authentic coach. You guys, I used to work for coach years ago. Did you know that? I worked for the one in the Cabazon outlet. So it's just a very smooth, genuine leather crossbody by coach. All right. Last but not least, I love this. Is this not too cute? Kate Spade with the pink and white stripe down the front, all the little spades on it. It's got leather trim, it's a canvas tile, rolled leather, canvas material, rolled leather, leather handles. Here's the bottom. Isn't that so adorable? And then it's a zip top closure. And, uh, 
uh, the inside looks great. It's got the Kate Spade emblem on the zipper pocket. Nice big bag, nice and roomy. And two slipper, two slip pockets. Okay. Sides. so cute it's the eye catcher really like this one it's super cute so you guys this is it this is my haul today and holy moly that's a lot of stuff you guys okay everything will be listed below click on the info box it'll drop down all of your prices and so on and so forth on how to pay and all that good stuff is going to be there just for you all right you guys stay humble stay kind and i'll see you on tomorrow's video bye guys